Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to give you my five tips on how to be more motivated and be a better you. Whether you are just a working girl or a stay-at-home mom or a working mom, I'm going to just give you my tips on how to keep yourself together and motivated and feeling good. Okay? So if you guys would love to watch this video, just keep watching. Okay, so no matter who you are following on Instagram, I want you to know we all have our good days, we all have our bad days. I don't care how rich someone is, how pretty someone is, how well you think they have it together, they don't. <laughs> we all have our moments, especially those who, um, you know, are going to school or having hard times, have kids, we all go through it. And so I don't want you guys to get distracted with social media and think, oh my gosh, she's so rich, she's so pretty. You know, she must have it all together, her life's so perfect, like blah, blah, blah. No, that is not the case. Especially for a lot of girls I know as influencers and bloggers and vloggers and YouTubers, we're all a hot mess half the time. So if you think about it, these Instagrams are billboards for companies. That's what you have to look at it as. So yes, we are going to be put together. We are going to show you the best things. But the good thing about Insta Stories is we can show you a little bit behind the scenes. You just have to know that we all go through it. We are all a hot mess. So if you are discouraged or you think, oh my gosh, I just had a baby. I'm so tired. How does that girl even have time to put makeup on? I get it. I've been there three times over and I totally understand. But I'm going to give you my tips on how I stay motivated and, you know, just try and keep it together and keep a positive vibe. Because I promise you, I have been a mom for almost or a stay-at-home mom for almost 10 years now, and I totally get it. I know about falling into that slump. I know about depression. I know about being sad and unhealthy, and I just want to help you get into a better spot and get to feeling good so you can hit those goals and dreams and just be a better mom, wife, or person in general because taking care of yourself comes first. Okay, okay. so my first tip on my list is definitely working out. Now, I don't care if you get up in the morning and go, I don't care if you do it at nighttime, you know, whenever your husband gets home or whatever. If you do it during the day, before bed, however you can do it, get it in. Even if it is only 10 to 15 minutes, it will make a huge difference. So I ordered these bands off of Amazon and I will also leave the link for you that way you can order if you want to. These are not expensive whatsoever. You might even be able to get these at like Marshalls and stuff. Sometimes they have them and of course Target, but I will leave a link just in case you want to order from Amazon <laughs> and have it shipped to you. So anyways, these are booty bands. So these are awesome for working out. So you just put these around your legs and you do different workouts. You can find them on Pinterest. It doesn't have to be anything crazy and hard. But this is an awesome tool for, you can take them to the gym or you can just do them at home, which I love. But these make your workout so much more intense. You will build muscle, you will start to tone up and just feel so much better about yourself. So I'll leave a link for these. And um, if you look at my Instagram, I will start posting some workouts that I do off of Pinterest with these. That way you can follow along if you'd like to. Okay, next up is a weight. A 10 pound weight is going to change your life if you're working out from home. I get it that sometimes you just don't have time or you're really tired and you just don't wanna do it. But you will stay in the same spot if you don't do something different. So like I said, 10, 15 minutes, as soon as you wake up in the morning or before bed, when all the kids are down, you know, after you've spent time, you know, doing whatever you need to do, take 10, 15 minutes for yourself and get this done. You can do 25 squats, 25 push-ups, 25 crunches, whatever you wanna do, however you wanna do them, just get them done. Okay, so next step is going to be watch what you eat. If you follow me on Instagram, you know right now I am doing the Arbon 30 Day Cleanse and it's really not as hard as I thought so far besides the coffee and the wine. <laughs> 
I like my coffee in the mornings and my wine in the evenings and I can't have those right now so I told my girls though I was like I'm probably gonna cheat on that aspect I'm probably gonna have a glass of wine every now and then but so far with the coffee I'm doing good so I'm going to give you like some really quick simple things that I am doing right now um just so you can kind of get an idea but I'm not going to go in like a full like spill of what to eat how to eat all that stuff yet because I'm still learning so I'm just gonna kind of show you what I'm doing okay so I got these two products at Sprouts these are bean chips and these are bean crisp salsa verde um but with these, I also have the brown ones, and they're just bean chips. And what you can do is you can dip them in salsa. So chips and salsa, just no margarita, um, which is really sad. It's so sad, guys. <laughs> for you, skip the corn chips and go straight for these bean chips. They're actually really good, and um, salsa is always good. So can't ever pass up salsa. Um, next up is going to be some reduced sodium turkey breast. So I get this. What you can do is get a piece of lettuce. You can put some hummus on it and some turkey and eat that as a snack. Or you can get some cucumbers and put some hummus on it and then put a piece of turkey on it. You can eat it that way. I know it may not sound the most exciting, but if you want results, you're going to have to change it up a bit. So even my husband, I was like, I'm sorry if dinner was bland last night. It's not what you're used to, but... We can do this. Um, another thing I picked up, which I'm actually going to make tonight and I'm really excited, is this chicken sausage. It's Sweet Italian by Applegate, and I got this at Sprouts. So I'm going to cut this up, and I'm going to use this organic... I'm going to use this organic brown rice pasta, and it looks like this. And all this stuff I did get from Sprouts, so I would go there. It's the easiest place to get all these clean eating things. Um, so I think I'm going to do these together and then I might use either, I think a little bit of red sauce. I got to see if I can actually have that. Hopefully I can. Um, but anyways, red sauce and tomatoes and garlic and crushed red pepper and just make like a healthy pasta. It sounds really good and I've been craving pasta so hopefully it turns out great. Well, brown rice cakes. I know it does not sound exciting whatsoever. It's 30 days. I can do it. Um, okay, so anyways, these, and then I get this Barney Bear Smooth Almond Butter, just like this, and mix them up. You can also put a little bit of this cocoa powder on there. It looks like this. If you need a little bit of chocolate in your life, it's plant-based. So, um, but yeah, those are just little tiny things that I'm doing with eating better. You know, no white rice, no white bread. No gluten, very little sugar, watching my carbs, but not like crazy. I don't know. There's like a whole list that I'm doing. But point being, yesterday I felt really good, which was nice. Like I didn't feel heavy, weighed down. Like I actually felt really good. So we're going to stick with it. Okay, so put yourself together. Now I did a how to get your groove back a few years ago and it's still the same thing today of how I feel you have got I don't care if you're a stay-at-home mom or if you are a student who's home studying or whatever you have got to put yourself together we all have lazy days we all have no makeup days and that is perfectly fine I have those a ton but more days than not I am at least putting some BB cream on putting a little bit of bronzer on, you know, make sure my hair is somewhat fixed and not looking crazy, put yoga pants on, and, you know, a workout top, or some comfortable jeans, and a sweater, or, you know, something like that. But the key is, is to put yourself together, because think about in the moments when you feel the most confident. What do you get done in those days when you feel great about yourself, and your energy's high, what do you get accomplished? Tons, right? So that is the whole entire point, is you want to feel good about yourself, which means wake up early, put your BB cream on, bronze your face up a little bit, brush your hair, 
put, you know, something fitted on. That way you're not wearing anything baggy around the house. Because if you're baggy, you don't like the way you look, you're sleepy, you're not going to get anything done. So those are my, like, little tips after being a stay-at-home mom for 10 years of how can I reverse this to make me feel better and not get into that depressed state because I have been there and it is no fun whatsoever because it affects everything. It affects your relationships, parenting, um, just you yourself. It affects all kinds of things. So make sure you do that for yourself. It's, it's not about looks. It's not about um, anything like that. It's just about feeling good. So when you feel good, so if you feel good in sweatpants and your hair is tied up on the top of your head, then go for it. But the key is to feel good and to feel confident because you will definitely get more done. Okay, next up is cleaning and organizing your home. So in a cleaner, brighter space, you are going to feel better. So open up your blinds for those natural light. Bring it in, open up your curtains, Make your bed in the morning, you know, when you get up first thing, if you're getting kids ready for school, no matter what it is, start a load of laundry. Get it going, make yourself a cup of coffee, or don't because you can't have it. <laughs> get something else. Anyways, get into a routine, a little groove, and clean your house. Get it organized. Make sure your dishwasher's unloaded during the day. That way when you cook at night, you can unload it. My husband's going to watch this. He's going to tell me to take my own advice. <laughs> and that's fine. I do it a lot of the times, but yes, sometimes I slack. <laughs> so if you see this, hubs, ignore it. I'm working on myself. Um, so keeping your house tidy is a key. Um, keeping your laundry up, keeping your bed made. Um, even though those things may not seem very important, you will notice as you try to keep it up, It'll make you feel so much better. Now, yes, I am a mom. I have a lot of kids. I have a husband. There's a lot of laundry. It's never ending. It's never going to be perfect. My house is, you know, fairly clean most of the time. But there are times where you just got to take a chill pill. And you're like, you know what? Those dishes can wait. That laundry can wait. And you just take time with your family or yourself. So don't ever think that I'm saying that you have to keep everything perfect and tidy and... You know, da, 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 da. you don't have to do that. I just want you to think about having a clean area is going to help you um, feel better, you know, and good energy is what I'm talking about. So that is just one step to having that better energy. So um, just try it. Okay, so my last tip is definitely going to be surrounding yourself with people who inspire you. So this even goes with listening to podcasts. So any goals or dreams that you have, you have to have the same people around you who are powerful and want, you know, the same kind of goals and things that you do. Otherwise, people can suck the energy out of you. If you have those people in your life that are always negative or don't really have positive things to say or they're lazy, they don't want to do anything, but they want everything, those people can drain you really, really fast. So you have to space those people, kind of push them to the side and be like, listen, this is your space because until you can be more positive, I'm going to have to put you over here so that I can reach my goals. So listening to good podcasts, I will definitely list some below for you. I am listening to powerful things. The mind is so powerful. So you can either have, my husband tells me all the time, I just got off the phone with him, he was like, so are you going to take your own advice, you know, on this video? Do you need to like replay it when you're having a bad day? <laughs> because we all have bad days. Like it's just something we all go through. I am not perky all the time. I'm not, you know, always cheery. I have my moments. I have a lot of kids. I have a husband. <laughs> I have a lot of things going on. So there's definitely moments where I'm just like, Oh my gosh, let me escape, please. So, and we all have those moments. And men, women, it's natural, it happens. So, surrounding yourself with good people and having a good mindset. Anytime, um, Mallory Irving, she's one that I follow on Instagram and YouTube. And she is just so powerful with her message and her words. And I just love watching her and her family and, you know, what she cooks. Those are things that I like to see and those are what 
inspired me along with you guys you know giving me you know your feedback on things and stuff like that that inspires me to keep going so having that just positive vibe in your life is going to get you much further than listening to negative things or people also anything that you have been through in your life um, no matter how far back it goes remember that you are not a product of that like you can become anything that you want to become you can become a different person you know have a different mindset you don't have to be stuck on what happened to you I think a lot of the times people are like use it not really as an excuse but they overplay it of what happened to them instead of being like you know what this did happen to me I'm going to talk about it but I'm also going to push it to the side and realize I can do so much better and I can get out of this funk and I can do the things that I need to do I just need to think positive and surround myself with good people and I think that's just key to um, having the kind of life that you want is your mindset. So definitely take all of these tips that I have given you and try to apply them to your everyday life um, and do it in your own way. Put your own twist on it because you know we're all different, we're not all the same, so we're gonna have different days, we're gonna have different schedules. So whatever you can do though to make these tips fit into your life, try them, see how they go, let me know how they go um, because I would love to know if it helps you and remember like I said in the beginning we I don't care how great you think someone is on social media we all have our moments we're not perfect and you just have to remember that so don't get down on yourself don't feel bad um you know because you're not at a certain point in your life or you know maybe you don't look a certain way or your clothes aren't fit in a certain way or your kids are screaming when you're walking at Target because we've really all been there um with the toddler like thrown over your shoulder and you're carrying your stuff and you're like it's okay guys it's a normal day it's fine it's fine anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it helped and be sure to follow my instagram i will leave it down below that way you can check out all the things that i'm posting and um how i'm doing on this arbon clean all right well thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye